The Privy Council in London has ruled that the current composition of the Judicial and Legal Services Commission was not in keeping with the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago. The British law lords handed down their 13-page judgment today in a matter brought by former government minister Devant Maraj, challenging the appointments of former justices Roger Hamill Smith and Humphrey Stolmeyer to the JLSC. Mr. Mirage had challenged the presence of the two retired judges on the JLSC on the basis that the Constitution does not permit more than one retired judge. The Privy Council ruled that under Section 110, 3B of the Constitution, it allows for one judge to be appointed to the JLSC. At a news conference this afternoon, Attorney Gerald Ramdeen, who represented Mr. Mirage, said the ruling is a serious blow to the JLSC. In our country, the judiciary is supposed to be the independent arm, the guardian of the Constitution. And those people who are comprised, who comprise the judiciary, have now, those, those appointments have now been called into question because at the time when these appointments were made, the Judicial and Legal Service Commission was improperly constituted. Mr. Ramdeen said he had also questioned whether it was right for the JLSC to continue making appointments to the judiciary while the matter was before the Privy Council. The question must be asked, how could it be that the Judicial and Legal Service Commission could have really had no regard to an appeal before the highest court in this jurisdiction, the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, and continue acting, continue appointing people, now only to find out that the Judicial Committee has declared that those appointments were made by an improperly constituted Judicial and Legal Service Commission. Mr. Ramdeen said this is an unfortunate outcome as there are very good judges whose reputations have now been tainted.